Hello my dear students, welcome to my channel Tutors Tutelage and here I am your tutor Arpita. Now in today's lesson we are going to have a brief discussion about a poetry that is The Heart of the Tree by Henry Siler Burner. Now let's read out the poem first and then we will go to the analysis. Here's the stanza one. What does he plant? Who plants a tree? He plants a friend of sun and sky. He plants the flag of breezes free. The shaft of beauty towering high. He plants a home to heaven and I. For songs and mother croon of bird. In hushed and happy twilight heard. The treble of heaven's harmony. These things he plants, who plants a tree. Now let's go through the analysis of the first stanza. The author delineates the need of planting a tree. An individual, by planting a tree, plants several things. A tree is a friend of environment. It reduces air temperature and even purifies the air by absorbing dust particles and smoke. It generates fresh air. As a consequence, it automatically becomes a friend of sun and sky. It changes a place around it into heaven where we can hardly feel any scarcity of greenery. The tree plantation ensures shelter for the birds whose sweet notes during the silence and in happy twilights give us pleasure. So, by planting a tree, an individual ensures peace, harmony and comfort for all and sundry. Now, here comes the next stanza. What does he plant who plants a tree? He plants cool shade and tender rain and seeds and birds of days to be and years that fade and flush again. He plants the glory of the plain. He plants the forest's heritage, the harvest of a coming age, the joy that unborn eyes shall see. These things he plants who plants a tree. Now let's go through the analysis of the second stanza. In the next stanza also, the poet questions once again, what does he plant who plants a tree? The answer is simple. By planting a tree, we can enjoy cool shade during summer and also during the other season. We are getting seeds from the trees which yield to produce sprouts and buds which bloom in seasonal times. The poet describes a tree as the forest's heritage and the harvest of a coming age. It can serve as a living legacy for the next generation. It gives several benefits throughout the year. It is in fact a link between us and our next generation. Now here comes the third stanza. What does he plant who plants a tree? He plants in sap and leaf and wood in love of home and loyalty. And far cast thought of civic good, his blessings on the neighborhood, who in the hollow of his hand holds all the growth of all our land, a nation's growth from sea to sea, stirs in his heart who plants a tree. Now here comes the explanation of the final stanza. Here again the poet starts the stanza with the same question, what does he plant who plants a tree? We are getting several other benefits by planting a tree. An individual can learn the essential human qualities like love, loyalty and kindness by planting and nurturing a tree. Tree plantation helps the nation's development. The poet firmly states that a country's growth and development depends upon its wealth of trees. The poet here points out that trees are important for the living beings. So, by planting a tree, an individual helps in the development of a nation. 
Now let's go through some questions which will help you in the exam. Now first of all describe the aptness of the title. Now question number two. What are the benefits we get by planting a tree? Why does the poet call the tree a friend of sun and sky? Do you agree with the poet that a nation's growth depends upon the wealth of trees? Name the figure of speeches used in the poem. So you see that was the brief discussion and analysis of the poem and few questions that can help you in the exam. Hope you love watching the video. Thank you. If you like it, then please do like, share, comment and subscribe into my channel. Till then, take care. Bye.